Yeah. Let me see your seeds, fool. Cocaine, gang, gang, set tripping. Gang, 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 cocaine, cocaine, gang, gang, set tripping. I uh, what you cooking for? I uh, what you cooking for? Uh, we want the money and the power. 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 Cocaine, everybody they know me. Affiliated with street life and OGs I get the paper, stack it up, and roll three We want the money and the power, and you know me I'm out to get it, I keep it clicking and don't forget it They got the sugar, I stick them up like a diabetic They acting hard, I stretch them out like some calisthenics They acting crazy, I show them I'm crazy, I can get it I'm rolling around all green in the top down I raise a flag to the homies on the block now I tip my hat if you got my back, then it's endless, dude Welcome to the fam, what you need, cause it's endless food Gang, gang, set tripping. Gang, 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 cookie, cookie. Gang, gang, set tripping. Uh, what you cooking for? Uh, what you cooking for? Uh, we want the money and the power. Uh, we want the money and the power. Uh, we want the money and the power. Uh, the and the power. Mom! Someone broke into my car and stole my iPod. Is that all? Is that all? Yeah. My music's my life, Mom. Well, did they break a window? Did they steal anything else? No, Matt, they didn't. But I had 500 songs on that fucker. Megan, enough with the cursing. We'll get you a new iPod, honey. Ew, you're not my dad, Matt. I'm sorry. Do not speak to Matt that way. That is it, that is it. I'm gonna get your grandfather to get you a job. Washing dishes or something. Maybe that will teach you some responsibility. I'm going through some traumatic shit right now. And now you want to teach me about responsibility? The one that needs to be taught responsibility is the low life bastard who stole my shit. It's not fair. Megan, enough with the cursing. Life is not always fair. Yeah? I see that. Don't let me find out who did it. Oh yeah, my dad's getting out soon too. Who, when I find out, it's on like Donkey Kong. <sighs> Aren't you glad she's not your kid? Point well taken. Does she even know who Donkey Kong is? And did Megan say her father's getting out soon? Like, getting out of jail getting out? Uh, prison. Okay, I usually don't ask girls about this, but is there something I should know, like what he did his time for? Okay. If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. I just want to make sure he's not coming back for his ex. No, you do not have to worry about that. I would never be with someone like him again. Someone like him? What does that mean? He's he's just a bad guy, okay? There's good and bad in everyone, Sarah. Are you gonna bust out singing Ebony and Ivory now? Huh? Forget it. Look. When I was young, I made some bad decisions, and I got with the wrong guy. But I don't regret it because we had Megan. And then there was this time where we had to stay away from him because of his enemies. Look, I would never keep Ricky from seeing Megan, but I would never be with someone like him again. Ever. His enemies? What was he in prison for? Oh, um, drug trafficking, felonious assault. Uh, he was the leader of the Coquis, the uh, Puerto Rican gang. Wait, your ex is not only a member, but the leader of a notorious street gang? Oh, I know, I'm sorry. I should have told you. It's just, I really like you and I didn't want you to freak out. When most guys hear that my ex was Ricky Morales, they don't stick around. 
Uh, and it's not even fair that I can't move on with my life, you know, with, with someone new, with someone good, with someone like you. But I understand if you don't want to be with me anymore. No, of course I still want to be with you, Sarah. Look who's back out here, Ricky fucking Morales. King Koki! Ah, uh, so good to see you guys. Our leader is back. What's the first thing you want to do? Where you want to go? Man, he's been locked up for like three years. I know you want to get some pussy first, right? <laughs> Plus, Lily's been dying to see you with a fine ass. Shut the fuck up. Won't you just let him tell us where you want to go first? Like, I really, I really want to see my daughter. I mean, she's 18 years old and I missed her high school graduation. I miss teaching her how to drive. I miss being there and protecting her. Man, I, I miss Megan more than anything. But, I mean, I have been locked up for a while, and I'm sick of looking at dudes, and I am tired of hard legs, so... Yo, I got you, Gio. Take him to Lily's. Told you. Fuck's up with this beard. Fuck, straight up in this motherfucker. I'm in my head. Megan! Unlock the door! Um, just a sec, Mom! Since when do you lock the door? Um, just a sec, Mom! I need to speak with you! What is it? Damn. What is your problem, young lady? I just want to be left alone. You're gonna stop all this attitude and cursing and carrying on. Oh, Grandma, does this curse? Your grandmother is 62 years old. I just lost all my music. Can you give me a break? Oh, I'm sorry. The world is gonna end because Megan doesn't have her music. Pretty much. Oh, it's my dad calling. Can we speak later, Mom? This is not over. See the shit, it ain't pretty. I'm just trying to spend a meal in my city. Could give a fuck up how you feel, you ain't with me. Temperature rising, don't tell me, don't push me, no bending, no pussy. See the shit, it ain't pretty. I'm just trying to spend a meal. Yo, we gotta make that move right quick. Holla at Ricky. We come back. We roll out. For sure. Do what we do. Again? Shut up. Go kiss. Be. Someone just broke into my car and stole my iPhone. Sorry to hear that, kid. Yeah, I gotta get settled in and everything. Gotta meet with my parole officer in the morning. Get a couple things done after that, but I promise. I promise to come see you within the next couple of days, okay, baby girl? Love you too, kid. More than anything. Yo. I know you want to see your daughter and all. And I understand that. But yo. We got some business to take care of. Since you've been gone, we've been moving like double the amount of product. And... I got word on this snitch that might have set you up. And I know you want to handle that. <laughs> Chico. Man, I'm done. <laughs> what you talking about, man? What you saying, man? Man, I'm out the game. I'm gonna go legit this time. <laughs> what? You go get a job at Walmart or something? You, you gonna be greeting motherfuckers? <laughs> Push buggies around and shit. Come on, man. We out here getting this bread, running shit. And ain't nobody gonna hire no felon, Ricky. Hey, Chico, look. It'll be all right, man. I'll find something. I'll be okay. 
Come on, man. You started the coke key. You brought me into this shit. You the one who wrote the rules. Blood in, blood out. Coke key. Forever. Chico, look. Dog, I wrote the rules, but I'm changing them now. Look, you've been a great leader in my absence. You brought the coquis farther than I ever did. Man, I'm sorry, Chico. We're still cool, but I'm moving on. I'm out, bro. So, um, Ricky got out today. Are you serious? You mean father of your only child, Ricky? You mean love of your life, Ricky? Now why do you gotta go say it all like that? Sarah, come on, this is me, Ebony, you're talking to. I happen to know for a fact that you were madly in love with him when he went in. And you know how I know? That's the shoulder you were crying on, remember? Okay, but that was three years ago. And since then, I've fallen in love with Matt. Uh, our relationship is going great. I mean, we're living together, so. So there's absolutely no chance ever again for you and Ricky. What don't you understand, Chico? I'm out and I'm gonna focus on family. Family? We're supposed to be your family, Ricky. What if he realized what was really important while he was in prison and he wants his family back? Man, what happened to you in prison, man? Our Lord, Jesus, he fucked you up, man. You acting like a little bitch. What the fuck did you just say? Man, you heard me. Jail to get too soft, motherfucker. Yo, 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 Rick, relax, Rick. Relax. <laughs> ah, there he is. Relax. Ricky fucking Morales. Triple OG. Go home, Chico. I'm done, <laughs> and that's it. You ain't done, Ricky. I'm done. You ain't done, Papa. It's Coke for life. Life. You ain't done. Superman is easily the best superhero ever. I don't know about that, man. Superman? No way, man. Everybody knows his weakness is kryptonite. Maybe in the top five. Okay, okay. So top five. We got Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, The Flash, and Thor. And I think it's the Hulk, then Thor, then Superman, then Iron Man, and Batman. <laughs> you guys are so predictable, man. Magneto. Magneto, really? Hmm? That's what I said. Aquaman. Aquaman? He's a sissy, bro. A sissy. He controls the whole underwater kingdom. <laughs> Wonder Twin. Hancock. Oh, Hancock. And my main man, Bruce Lee. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hancock. Really? We will give you Hancock because he was a superhero yeah. of kind. But Bruce Lee. You know, he may have been the greatest martial artist ever, but he was never a superhero. Okay, okay. Jesus. Oh, oh come on. Can nobody beat Jesus. But a superhero? Come on. He shouldn't be in this conversation right now, That's man. Stupid. Why is he so stupid? All I hear is blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Same on me from the O3. Could've walked right past, you don't know me. The old niggas from the past, they don't know me. Just a handful of niggas, call them OGs. Got a stand full of triggers when I OD. I ain't trying to go that route, but it holds me. I ain't trying to tell my business to the nosy. That's how I ain't missing, missing, still lonely. Pay attention, cause attention ain't gon' leave. Once I get you, I can take you down to hold me. Then grow with a mother trying to hold me. Only grew up seeing dollars, which show me how to get it by yourself when you're lonely. I never had a father, only had an OG. And what he told me was money with the world, see. Only thing you couldn't buy was some more tea. I could paint a butterfly or a caterpillar. Only one would survive, the other one to kill you. You can tell in my eyes, I ain't gotta feel you. If you're full of them lies, I ain't gotta hear you. I can tell you bye bye, sipping my tie. Not giving a fuck, using your Wi Fi. If you ain't finna bust, then why try? Wait, come on, man, then why rise?
sailing in the rain, feeling when the low cries. We rack my brain, even with the word why. How the hell we get here from a bird's eye? Only thing I really fear is a goodbye. How you really get through it as a good guy? I'm too old for the shit in the hood life. All I ever really wanted was a good life. But I'm stuck here, what the fuck I look like? Should I leave myself down the same road? Or really sit back, focus on my bankroll? Ain't no time to chit chat, I'm in grind mode. Yeah, I, uh, I told him everything. Oh my goodness, was he freaking out? No. <laughs> I'm freaking out, guys. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I'm bound to run into him. He's always hanging out with Megan and spending time with her, so I'm bound to see him sometime, obviously. I told him who Ricky was, why I can't be with him anymore... I told him, you know, that I wouldn't stop him from seeing it's not his like daughter. He's just a gang member. He's the leader of the gang. What the heck is a Koki anyway? So he knows who Ricky is, head of the Kokis. Wait, 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 wait. I know you're not talking about Ricky Morales, are you? Yeah, that's him. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. I'm sorry, man. Sorry for what? Does he know about Matt? Well, he's been talking to Megan, so uh, I I'm sure she's mentioned him. But you don't know for sure? You guys don't think my life's in danger, do you? Do you? Nah. nah. Well... Maybe? You're fucked. Listen, white girl. We need some scotch instead of coffee. Let me see this laptop real quick. All right, uh, can I just finish this job application real quick? And it's kind of, like, impossible now to apply for a job without having a computer. You really serious about getting a job? Very. You might want to lie about having a felony. Why? So they could fire me later on when they find out that I am an ex I'm, I'm just saying. Lily, look, it'd be better to just tell the truth. Like, there's a lot of jobs that hire ex felons. You got AT&T, Black & Decker, General Electric, Red Lobster, Olive Garden, Denny's, Family Dollar. Denny's? Family Dollar? You must be crazy. Look, it's a legit job. It's an honest living. I know for damn sure my man ain't working at no damn Family Dollar. Yeah. Lily, I'm not your man. The fuck? You mean you're not my man. You mean you can lay up with me day in, day out. Last night, night before, this morning? The fuck you mean you ain't my man? Well, you need to chill out, alright? Chill? Ricky, I need my man to pay my bills, make sure my hair is did, make sure my nails did. You can't do that working no minimum wage job. Look, get a job and pay for your own shit, alright? Let me tell you something. Chico still pays me to hold his work for him. And he's not dingy either. Ricky, I can't see you working no minimum wage job. Do I need to remind you who you are? Look, you don't need to remind me of shit, all right? Like, what the fuck? I'm out here trying to do the right thing. And what do you want me to do? The same old bullshit I did in the past that got me locked up in the first place? Shit, if you do what you always did, you're going to get what you always got. Where'd you learn that from, prison? Just shut up, all right? Look, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to be there for my daughter. And I'm going to be the father to her that I should have always been. Should maybe you should get your daughter from your mother and do the same thing. Fuck you. Don't judge me. I'm not fucking judging you. What happened? What happened to the old Ricky that I used to know? I don't know what happened to him. I don't want to be him. He's not me anymore. Well, when he comes back, let me know. Otherwise, you gotta go. Oh, it's like that. I'm out of here. You 
You mean love of your life, Ricky? Does he know about Matt? You guys don't think my life's in danger, do you? Do you? Is everything all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Fine. You? Mm-hmm. Um, where's Megan? Oh, well, she's staying at, um, Bobby's house. Weird kid from next door? You're comfortable with that? Well, they've known each other since kindergarten. It, it's fine. Do you, um, you have protection? Oh yeah, just use the last one. When? With who? Ah, uh, Lois Lane. Mm -hmm. Superman. Well, <laughs> he is the greatest superhero ever. Ooh, yes he is. Okay, what what is the problem? You don't want to have another kid, do you? I mean, do you? Um, uh, maybe. I mean, I don't know. We never talked about it. Why? Well, I'm not getting any younger. Maybe I want to leave something behind. Maybe someone to carry on my name. In case somebody decides to bust a cap in my ass. What? Well, most people my age are already parents. Some of them even grandparents. Maybe I want to see what it feels like to have a child of my own. They say that's what life is all about. Having a home, having a family, being a parent. Wow. I, I didn't realize it was that important to you. Well, you know, we really haven't dated that long. I haven't met your parents. You haven't met my parents. Well, that's a good point. How about Monday? It's Memorial Day. I mean, my parents are in Florida, but you can invite yours. You can invite your friends. I'll invite my friends. Megan can invite that weird kid from next door. We'll have a backyard barbecue. It's perfect. What do you think? I think it's a little last minute. Uh, well, I mean, I guess. You know what? Yeah. Yeah? Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> Okay, what are you thinking? I'm trying to figure out where the heck that red cape is. <sighs> Gosh. I was here all night, okay? Megan, I'm not gonna keep doing this. I don't feel comfortable lying to your mom like this. Please, Bobby, one more time, I promise. Okay, this one last time. You're such a good friend. I know. So where were you going anyway? With Connor. <sighs> Megan, again? Connor Gregor's an asshole. You just don't like him. Because he's an asshole. Bobby. I know he gave you a hard time in school, but he's different now. It's bullshit. He cheated on you with two different girls. Why would you give him the time of day? Because I choose to forgive him, and you should too. Well, even if I forgive, I sure as hell won't forget. And neither should you. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the one right here. What I Um, I guess we're having a cookout Monday. My mom wants me to invite you. Free food? Count me in. Is your grandma making that potato salad? I hope she is. All right. Then it's on. Like, like Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. Boom. Boom. As long as Connor doesn't go. You really don't want me with him, do you? No. I don't think you should be used as a doormat. And I think you deserve better. Oh, it's not a guy if guys line up around the corner to ask me out. Better like who? 
Well, I'm waiting. Better like who? Like me. Better like me. And your girl would be lucky to have you. You're like my best friend. I'd never want to mess that up. I understand. Okay, well, I gotta go, okay? You must be blind not to see that you're more than a friend to me. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. La da da. What are you doing here? I see you still run in the park every morning. Yeah. I wanted to see you. I wanted to talk to you. About Megan? No. Please have a seat. It'd just take a minute. If you don't want to talk about Megan, what do you want to talk about? Us. What about us? Look, these last three years, I've done a lot of thinking. Evaluated myself and my life and what's most important to me. And I came to realize that the most important thing to me is Megan and you, my family. Ricky. Uh, hold on. Please, let me finish. Look, it fucks me. It messes me up. To know that the reason that I can't have my family is because of some of the choices that I made in the streets. Look, I did a lot of bad things to a lot of people. Some deserved it. Maybe some did, but I, I can't change the past. Shit, I wish I could. All I can do is focus on now and start fresh. You know, not a single day went by in that place that I didn't think about Megan and you. And I'd be a fool to get out now and not try to get my family back to fight for what's really mine. Look, Ricky, I wish things would have ended up differently. I really do, okay? But we made the right choice. Megan and I, our safety was at risk because of the issues that come with what you choose to do. I mean, you're the leader of the Coquins for Christ's sake. But not anymore. What? That's what I've been trying to say. Look, I'm no longer selling. I'm no longer banging. I want, I want to do the right thing this time. I want to get a regular job. And I just want my family. Is that too much to ask? Um, yes, actually, it is. Okay, I, I've, I've moved on. I would never keep you from seeing Megan. Okay, you know that. I'm sure Megan's told you that I'm seeing someone new. Yeah, she mentioned it a couple of weeks ago, but you're in front of me right now, and I don't see a ring on your finger. So who is he? What does that matter, Ricky? I mean, to me it matters because maybe I'm not ready to give up on us. Who is he? Okay, <laughs> that is none of your business, Ricky. Okay, you have intimidated every guy that has ever tried to talk to me. I choose to not keep my eyes on something that we both chose to leave behind. Neither should you. But what if what I left behind was a lot more valuable than I thought? And meant a lot more than I realized? Sir, don't you love me anymore? Yes, uh, I still love you. And yes, I still care for you. And yes, I still wish the best for you. But my life has not been on pause for the last couple of years. Okay, I've met someone new, and he makes me happy, and he makes me feel safe. The past is the past, Ricky. But what if your past is standing right in front of you? What if you can't let go of your past? What if you're looking at your past face to face? Maybe you have to let go. You know, maybe letting go is the best thing that you can do. Maybe you don't have a choice. Sir, sir, you always have a choice. Goodbye, Ricky. Sarah. Come on. So it's like that. Sarah. Oh, 
Oh, hey. Sarah said she was trying to get in touch with you last night. Got no answer. Oh, well, me and the missus went to see the new Halle Berry movie. Ooh, the Mr. <laughs> Halle Berry still looks good, boy. Well, did the missus get a kid's discount? Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. Well, she's barely 30. She's 35. Okay. That means then when you were 21, she was five. Uh, that's none of my business. Look, it's not the same thing. Anyway, I was thinking, I would like to shoot a commercial for the restaurant. What do you think? I know some videographers. I'll make a few calls. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. huh. I thought I asked you to take the trash out. Oh, babe, you scared me. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be up. No. Everything all right, my love? Yeah, everything's fine. Well, uh, I better go make those calls. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Did I just interrupt something between you and your baby's mama? I think the woman still wants you. I told you, my relationship with her is strictly platonic. Oh, why can't you just fire her and hire a new manager? Don't you think it'll be easier on me? You don't think it's hard to know that your man is still working with his ex-wife and mother of his children? Ah, you have so much history with her. How can I compete with that? Look, we talked about this before you ever moved in here. She runs that restaurant. Without her, it would have gone under years ago. And yes, I still care about her. But I am in love with you. There's no competition. All right. Come here. Hmm. Come on. Let's go back to bed. I told you. what I tell you? I knew he was going to try to get you back. I knew it. Well, you and my mom were right. I'm always right. <laughs> Don't you know that by now? I know men. <laughs> I might not be able to keep one for a long time. <laughs> but I know them and I understand how their tiny little minds work. He's probably telling you how much he miss you and Megan. How much he's not gonna run the streets no more. Damn, Ebony. That's almost word for word what he said. Okay, okay, I'll give you that. Matt can be a bit boring, but he's so sweet. He definitely loves you, girl, and the man, he treats you like a queen. He does. Okay, and look, listen. Matt is love. Ricky is lust. Matt is safe. No, 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 no. Sarah, Ricky is dangerous. The two of them couldn't be any more opposite. Plus, Matt's the kind of guy you can take home and introduce your parents to. Speaking of which... He wants to meet my parents. Really? And he wants me to meet his parents. But they live in Florida, so we're gonna Skype. But anyway, there's gonna be a barbecue, and it's on Monday, and it's in the backyard. and you're invited. I was getting ready to say I better be. Also, you got jokes, huh? Matt? Oh my goodness. What are you doing down there? Are you okay? Yeah, I, uh, the sink was clogged. I, I got it, just fixed, don't worry about it. Oh, it was fine this morning. Anyway, 
Jamarco and Greg are downstairs waiting for you. Yeah, just tell them I'll be down in like five minutes, okay? Okay. Hold up, that's my new bitch. I gotta take this. And please don't embarrass yourself. What up, bitch? I mean, hey there, sexy. Why don't you just take a picture? It'll last longer. Well, I thought about that, but uh, I thought that would have freaked you out. <laughs> oh, okay. So you sitting here staring at me like Michael Myers or something wouldn't? I mean, do you blame me? I mean, damn, look at you. You fine as hell. If I wouldn't have tried to holler at you, I'd have never forgiven myself. I told you, it's just not my thing. It's more like a family get together. Your parents would just be grilling me the whole time and everything. Okay, just forget it. I'll talk to you later. Babe, where's my kiss? I kissed my ass. I ain't believe in love at first sight. It's about five minutes ago. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're cute. You got some game. I don't play games. So sorry. Is this lane bothering you right here? <laughs> no, Greg. He's fine. See? You still ain't got no chance. What the fuck? Megan, sorry. We'll go to the barbecue. Uh, did you plan this? Plan what? Uh, how did you know I love poetry? Did you know I wrote poetry too? Of course I knew. Oh my god, I loved it so much. It was so good, babe. I even know you're a hopeless romantic deep down. I know, right? motherfucker know what's blood in blood out we all had to kill to get in yeah and the only way out is death itself that's why we fucking say yeah it's cold keys for life cause we really mean that shit motherfucker this fucking cookies for life and we can't change that. But it's Ricky. Ricky the one that started this shit. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. You think Ricky gave a fuck when he had my cousin Hector killed? He think he could change the rules if it benefits him. <laughs> but the same rules apply to all of us, from the top to the bottom. No one coke is bigger than this gang. Not even fucking Ricky Morales. So, he gotta pay the fucking consequences just like everybody else. So you trying to say we should kill our leader? 
Kio. I ain't trying to say shit, man. I'm telling you. We are. And he ain't your fucking leader no more. I am. Yeah, nigga. You got a fucking problem with that? Chill out, Chico. Nah, nigga. I've been running this crew for over three years now. And we didn't have way more power, way more money, way more respect than we ever did. Man, fuck Ricky. I'm our shot caller. <laughs> Anybody got a problem with that? Gio? <laughs> Jose? Speak up. So we can handle this shit like G's, like men, my nigga. Here, going once, going twice. <laughs> so we have it. Ricky Morales dies. And if I can't get him, <laughs> I'll get the one he loves the most. What was so important that you had to come to my mom's house tonight to talk to me? I mean, you know I got mad love for you, right? And I always will, no matter what. Yeah. I mean, I love you too, bro. What is it? It's Chico. You been on one lately. Talking about... Talking about me? Yeah, man. Trying to turn everybody against you. Not me, though. I just got a role to play, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I understand. I mean, blood in, blood out. That's the gawky way, bro. I know, Gio. And I wrote that shit, remember? What about you, man? You gonna come for me, too? Man, I wouldn't be standing here if I was gonna come for you. I already told you, I got a role to play, that's it. I'm trying to tell you, your life is in danger, bro. And you're right. And I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm tripping. I'm just fucked up, man. Come on, babe, we gotta go. All right, man, I gotta get out of here. All right, Jill. Be, Be cool, safe. man. All right. Double dating. What about Jamarco? I mean, does he have a chance? Because you haven't been with a man since Devontae's daddy? Well, I am sorry. Do I look desperate to you or something? I need a man who could be a father figure in Devontae's life. Now, Jamarco, on the other hand, whew, girl, he is like a piece chocolate cake that I could eat. But he's not the nutritional meal that I need. So, if there was no food and somebody gave you a piece of chocolate cake, are you not going to eat it? Girl, I'm going to tear it up. <laughs> Yeah, she said she needed me to be there, and I i promised her I would. I, I've been so busy lately, I just forgot to mention it. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah, everything's just fine. They're just having a barbecue, and it's imperative that I be there, so please. Okay, fine. Thank you, baby.
stupid barbecue. Wait a minute. <laughs> nah, mm -mm. couldn't be. That little shorty that you was uh, supposed to invite. I did. She had something else to do. More like someone else to do. Mommy, thanks for coming. <laughs> now Megan can get her potato salad. The girl's crazy. That's what I said. <laughs> mother, this is Matt. Matt, this is my mother. Sarah. I don't want him to call me your mother. I have a name too. It's Kathy. Nice to meet you, Matt. Nice to meet you, Mrs. San Martino. It's a pleasure. <sighs> call me Kathy, sweetie. Stop looking all nervous. <laughs> you talked all that shit. She over there feeling the alcohol. Better get over there before she sobers up and realizes how truly ugly and old you really are. <laughs> yeah, you got jokes, kid. <laughs> Too old my ass. Well, you the ugly one. You gotta tiptoe past a glass of ice water. If I had your face, man, I'd sue both my parents. Let me show you how true G get down. Connor, are you sure you don't want to go to the back? No, I, I told you, it's not my thing at all. Plus, you know, I just came here to see you, baby. Which reminds me, I picked up something up on the way over here. Here, try it for you. I'm good. No, seriously, try some. It'll take you to a whole nother level. I said I'm good, Connor. And you shouldn't be taking pills either. Are you my fucking mother now? How'd you find me? Did you put a tracker in my phone or something? Sorry, do I know you? Stop playing, girl. So, Mr. San Martino, I've been meaning to get you alone anyway, for a minute. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about something. You know I've been seeing your daughter for a while now, and I wanted to ask her to marry me, but I want your blessing. You know, my father raised me that way to, to ask for that. Ah. Father sounds like a good man. Sounds like he raised you right. Think so. I've got a good feeling about you. You have my blessing. You don't know how happy that makes me to hear that. Thank you very much. Look, I came to your barbecue because I actually really like you, but that's all you're gonna do is just judge me, then forget it. I'm sorry, Connor, I didn't mean to judge. Well, shut the fuck up then, because it really sounds like you are. Someone? Well, I'm not with a man, if that's what you're asking. You are now. Excuse me? <laughs> what? I said you are now. Oh, really now? Yeah, no games. Just some fun, having some drinks on this beautiful day with this beautiful black queen. What more can you ask for? That's what's up. Cheers. Cheers. Where is he? Is he here now? Yeah. Bruno San Martino. His daughter Sarah lives here. <laughs> huh? Small world, huh? I guess the fuck so. Please don't say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. It's their day. I'll leave it at that. Okay, great. We'll talk later then. Okay. It's none of your business, Kathy. Go to hell. Only if you come with me. How come the guy who wrote that beautiful poem be such an asshole? Maybe because he did it. I did. 
Megan. The moon is your eyes, the light in my dark skies. You're my friend in this world of sin, and an angel in disguise. I'm gonna beat your fucking face in. What's up, bitch? Let's fucking go. Connor, you need to leave. Why the fuck do I have to leave? Because he says so. Daddy! Mom, you said to invite anyone I want, so I invited Daddy. Sarah, if this is too uncomfortable, I'll leave. But I really, I really wanted to see Megan. And she made me promise that I would be here today. Okay. I guess, uh, don't be too long, okay? It's whatever you say. <laughs> Kathy. Leslie. The hamburgers are old. You know, plenty of dogs there. I know how you like your variety of wieners. Excuse me. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Don't act stupid, bitch. <laughs> I saw you with Matt's friend. Are you seeing things? What are you talking about? Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. Let me refresh your memory. What the fuck did you... Hey, hey, hey! What, what the Sam hell's going on here? Tell him. What's she talking about? Tell me what. Okay, this. Guys? Who's this? Nobody. Leslie. Who is this? Nobody. It's me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm out of here. <laughs> Look at That's that. That's your mystery girl? <laughs> the guilty always run! Let her go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I had no clue. I'm sorry. I know, I know what you're gonna say. You told me so. But yeah, but I was gonna say. And that she's too young for me. Well, yeah, but she don't deserve you. You're way too good a man for her. Little cheating ass. <laughs> Hell, I didn't even deserve you. It's funny, huh? thinking I was the one that didn't deserve you. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want some wine? Yeah. <laughs> so what is the deal with that scumbag? That's my ex-boyfriend, Connor. You didn't tell me that you had a boyfriend. Uh, yeah. But not anymore because he's a lying, cheating pig. What about that kid who can't keep his ass off of you? Uh, that's Bobby. He wants to be with me, but he's like my best friend. Your mother was my best friend. Until I messed that up. Yo, that's Ricky Morales, son. Well, you know, he is Megan's father. But you gotta put up with when you got a baby daddy. Yeah. Yeah, but that baby's daddy is a stone-cold gangster. And he's quite handsome, too. Really, Greg? But I mean, that kid, like he was, he was ready to fight for you. Kind of would have beat him up. Yeah, maybe, but, but still. I mean, he was willing to fight for you the way that, that I should have fought for your mother. I mean, she seems happy. How does Matt treat her? And I want, I want you to be honest. I'm just saying, you better hope he ain't trying to get her back. Well, I just gotta make sure that doesn't happen, right? I give him a hard time, but he's a really good guy. Why do you give him such a hard time? I don't know, maybe because he's not you. Megan, you will never be me. But I think you should give him a chance. I mean, if he's good to your mother and he treats you good, like, I wouldn't want to get in the way of that. But I want you to know that, to my last breath, I will always love you. And it hurt. Like, it hurt that 
I couldn't be there for you and it hurt that I couldn't protect you. You two weren't safe for me around. And I'm sorry. I love you. I love you more than anything. It's okay, Dad. I forgive you. I love you too. Crap. All right. We need to do this now. Give me the mic. Could everybody, uh, could I have everybody's attention? Can you come up here for a second? I just want to thank everybody here for coming. You know, I appreciate all of you. I wanted to thank all of our family and friends for being here today. I'm really glad you could be here. I also wanted to say something to Sarah. You know, we've been together for a long time now. When I found you, I found my happiness. Would you make me the happiest man in the world and be my wife? Yes! Yes! I don't know. Love? Megan, I don't want to be friends anymore. And if you give me a chance, I swear that I'll... Man, I'll never wash these lips again. Although, I don't think anyone's ever washed their lips before. No quiero llamarlo. Tienen que llamarlo. Tienen que dejarle saber lo que está pasando. Oye, papi, si fuera su hija, entonces qué? Llámalo. Yeah, what's up? Yo, it's Jose. Yeah, what's up, man? How you been? Everything good? Oh, yeah, man, it's cool. I gotta holler at you, though. It's about Chico, man. Ah, man, I already know, man. This cat want my blood, right? Yeah, but he went way too far when he brought your daughter into it. Wait, what? I'm like, that shit ain't cool. I mean, I want you to know I ain't down with none of that. I got a little girl myself. Jose, I... tell me, what the fuck did he say? He said something like, if he couldn't find you, he knows where your daughter goes to school. Sorry, bro. I had to tell you. He's flipping out. I've never seen him like this. It's crazier than he ever was before. What are you gonna do? Ricky. Ricky! Ricky? Yeah. <laughs>
fuck out of here. Look at what he's doing here. Get the fuck out of here now. What you doing here, Ricky? Wait, that motherfucker threatened my daughter. And where the fuck is he? You looking for me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This shit is between me and you, Chico. Yeah. And you made a big mistake bringing my daughter into this. Man, Chico, put down the gun, man. Where your loyalty at, Papa? Hmm. You should listen to him and go. This is between me and Ricky. It don't gotta be like that, man. It's a better way. You got a lot of balls coming here. And that is the old Ricky I love. And you don't love me, Chico. Man, you never did. And love would allow me to make my own choices. Love would accept me and for who I am now. I mean, love doesn't question your loyalty, and love doesn't threaten your family, and love doesn't put a fucking gun to your head. Yeah. You right. But fear lasts way longer. So you gotta die. You ready, motherfucker? I'm ready to do whatever I gotta do to keep my daughter safe. Cause she's the only thing that matters now. So yeah, and if that's what it takes, and as long as she's safe, Kill your daughter, man. I just wanted to have a little fun with her. <laughs> Nigga, I still might. Chico, no. Brother, breathe. Jill, look at me. Man, breathe, bro. Come on, man. Man, breathe, fight. Chico, man, do something. Man, call 911. Come on, Jill. Chico, man, do something. Fuck. Come on, man, fight.
mentally free Fresh out of the penitentiary I did my three and I'm ready to feed my family I miss my kid, the dumb shit that I did Getting rid of bodies and having evidence hit Lay the foundation King of the Goki Nation I'll take your life for the knife and no hesitation Shootouts, drive-bys, and strangulation With murder arrangements through conversation But that's the old me, the OG Blood in, blood out with loyalty to the green with loyalty to the streets so, of concrete. Bill paid me a whole his work for him. And he ain't sent it about. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Don't judge me. I'm not fucking judging you. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you mean you can lay up with me day in, day out? Last night, night before, this morning? What the fuck are you talking about? I think you need to chill out. Chill? Let me tell you something. And action. I love the old OG McRib. <laughs> I love the OG Ricky Morales. The leader of the. <laughs> I love the OG Ricky Morales. Yeah, I love the OG Ricky Morales. Just say you gonna record. Do I call him again or just say you? Alright. Hey, yo, Ricky. You gonna regret this, Papa? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, Ricky. <laughs> oh. Yo, chill. You hear this snicker? Regret my past. It's my last time in prison. Now I'm thanking God for everything I've been given. Believe I forgot. Come on. Where's that? Where's that? Oh. Mom. Someone broke into my car. Uh, am I in the camera? I'm looking straight into the camera. Okay. Mom is the camera. Okay. Hi, Mom. Action. Mom. <laughs> Mom. Someone broke into my car and stole my fucking iPod. iPod. <laughs> iPod. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> into my car and stole my iPod. <laughs> I have to say iPod weird. Why? Mom, someone broke into my car and stole my fucking iPod. <laughs> Mom, bro, tell me, what is it? It's Chico, man. You've been turning everyone against you. Not me, though. <laughs> That's like some real movie shit, though. Like, I'm... And what was so important that you had to come to my mom's house tonight to talk to me? I mean... That's something. <laughs> <laughs> I want to whack you. I want to whack you with this man. Telling you this if I was coming for you. Just trying to let you know. I have to roll, uh, roll, 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 I understand. Is he asking for 187? Yeah, man. <laughs> 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 asking. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Is he... <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> my shirt. Thank you. I bought it at T and M. Is that a store? M and T. H and M. H and M. Like thirteen bucks. What's she talking about? Tell me what. <laughs> this. I don't know what the line is. <laughs> anymore. And if you give me a chance, I swear. So what about Devonte? No, it's wrong. It's Jamarco. <laughs> so what about Demarco? 
So what about Javante? Because <laughs> you haven't been with a man since uh, DeMarco's daddy. I said DeMarco's daddy and it's Devonte. I'm gonna go legit. Could be a counterfeit. Create memories later. We can reminisce. Walk away from the crew. Could see the lead to Chico. Loyalty to the cookies in Puerto Rico. A heart to sell. Create the vision. Got no choice, but I gotta change the way I'm. All right. We will give you hands. We will give you handcuffs. Because he was a superhero. But sort of. But Jackie Chan? Who the hell was it? <laughs> I knew what I was saying it wrong. But Jackie Chan may have been the greatest martial artist ever, but he was never a superhero. Just the cue it is. Backyard barbecue. Okay, we will give you Hancock because we'll give you we'll give you Hancock. Do not put that in the bloopers.